just because it's going to take a minute to load everything up. All right, looks like we got visuals. Do we have audio? All right, looks like we do indeed. So hello, hello, people of the internet. It is I, Soul Rack Dragon here, back at long last with more Pokemon Violet. With the latest singularity in FGO done, we can finally return to the lovely Paldea region and continue our adventure. So, um, there is a fair bit that is available to me. Oh, I guess there's a Dreepy outbreak over there. But that's not where we're going to be going. I'm. Oh, and there's a Weasel one down there. But what I'm going to actually do here is, is I'm going to do a brief backtrack to check out all of these Terra Raid dens here. Um, and actually, actually, I'm also going to go back to Mesa Goza real quick because I do want to see about making a sandwich of my own here. I did make one last time with Velvet. However, it got a little bit of a chaotic mess, I will say. Nothing wrong with chaos, but um, yeah. All right, so we're in Mesa Gozo West. Just gotta remember all of my button prompts as well because it's been like a week. Okay, I know I had a boost. What was my boost? Right, I gotta click on the left stick for the boost. Okay. Uh, no, I need to find the central area. Finding that central area and going up the... There was a... Um... I'm in the west, so I need to go east. Yeah, the central area had a bigger plaza with a little bit of everything in it, so... And there it is. Awesome. So, let me check the shops, the various shops here, and... Nope, can't do anything there. And this is where you can actually purchase stuff, but I'm not going to worry about any of this. I want to make something of my own. So drinks, drinks, nothing. Um, This looks to be possibly something. Picnic, knacks. Ah, various things for this, but... I don't think it will do anything in particular, so I'll save this sort of picnicking gear for later until I can find a dragon-themed stuff. Um, this looks to be a backpack shop, which I'm fine with what I've got. Hairstylist, maybe later. Maybe later. I need food ingredients here. Hats, glasses, socks, um, shoes... Another drink shop. Pants slash jackets, perhaps. This is just a general store, maybe? Chancy Supply. Um, ah, so various of this stuff. Interesting, but not necessary. Almost went right back in it. That would have been annoying. Oh, is this where the food stuff is? It looks like it might be... Unless these are just straight restaurants, which they very well look at. Yep, these are just the straight restaurants, so I don't need any restaurant stuff. I need the ingredients, dang nabbit. Hey, Larvy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. How be things, how be things? So that's the seafood place, so I'm not going to get anything there. I refuse to be eating the Pokemon. Okay, so Mesa Gosa's central area does not have the ingredient places... Where are they then? I honestly don't remember. You're completed the decks and post game raiding and hunting now. Yeah, I'm very far behind you. I will say that much. Sure cans. This is. There we go. So I need. Um, let's just buy a dozen bananas. And a dozen strawberries. I don't care for tomatoes or pickles, so I will leave those. Hey, Andy, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream as well. Dang it! Did not mean to go back into sure cans. But yeah, I am very much far behind you, Larvy. Got distracted with a lot of things. Uh, this looks like a sandwich ingredients shop, or is it just a sandwich shop? It's the sandwich shop. You have anything new for me? No. Can I buy ingredients here or no? No, I cannot. Yeah. Have you... Larvitar, I have to ask. 
Have you participated in Pokemon consumption? Have you eaten innocent Pokemon? I need to know. You have Legas. How could you? Oh, fresh pearls. Uh, eggs, I think, are fine. Potato salad is for sure fine. So let's get some potato salad, which is weird on a sandwich, but I don't eat potato salad. Eggs, I think, are fine because they're likely unfertilized eggs. Plus, they're changing the lore of how eggs work. So, yeah. Plus, they don't even look like Pokemon eggs, so... It's fine for eggs. Eggs are fine. Um, that's just a general restaurant, it looks like. Yep, this is just the grill. I'm trying to think. There's still the... I still need to find the place that has, like, the butter and stuff yet. Before I can proceed. 900 Magneton corpses in your bag. Good gracious. You monster. Though, honestly, how do you... I don't think they're corpses, you know? Actually, I have never beaten a Magneton, so I don't know what they drop. So it very well could be Magneton corpses. Not there. Uh, where was it? I know one of these places sold the stuff. It's not the seafood place. Is it here? Barados? No. Dang nabbit, where is it? I just need a few more ingredients, and then I can... Have a picnic and embark on an adventure. Ow. I'm sure that guy's probably hurting more than I was, though, from that impact. Uh, no. Wasn't that. Deli bird shop? No. I don't know. I don't know where it is. I don't even know how much yogurt and butter I have. I don't even remember what the shop looks like, if I'm going to be completely honest here. Yeah, I've only taken down cloth as far as um, the treasure stuff. Last time was a lot of um, playing around with friends. By the way, Larvitar, Larvi, obviously not right now, but I am thinking of later on when I've made it further progress in the game, like hosting a Pokemon hide-and-seek or a... Um, race around Paldea. Hey, Velvet, welcome to the stream. I'll be things, I'll be things. If I were to do something like that, would you be interested in partaking? You don't have the game yet, Andy! You said you were gonna get either this or Bayonetta, and you haven't decided yet. If you get this, you're invited to. Same thing with you, Velvet. Of course. I don't know how many people can actually partake at once, though, is the thing. Okay, I don't know... I know I've gotten butter before, I don't remember where I got it, so... It's time to leave Mesa Goza. Have a picnic. You'll hide in a cave in a cave. Well, don't give away your hiding spots just yet, you know. But I think it would be a fun thing to do to do a Pokemon hide-and-seek or a Pokemon race across Paldea with various restrictions and stuff. I think it would be fun. All right, let's have a picnic. Um. We. Whole squad is here. Make a sandwich. All right, and we'll go creative mode. Let's see. Um, I want a strawberry banana sandwich here. And we'll just use. We'll use some butter. No. Let, let's just... Can I just proceed? No, I have to use one of these. Okay, butter it is then. Butter, strawberry, banana. Butter doesn't really go with it, but, you know, it... I don't know where peanut butter or anything is. Okay, um, so definitely bananas first. Because in Pokemon World, I am pure... Like, no meat eater. I guess unless the... Oh, that was close. 
Unless the Pokemon, like, regenerates or something, I guess. Their things are as willing. I don't know. But I haven't seen any entries about that sort of thing yet, so... You would need to be online to do a lot of stuff with Pokemon. Alright, strawberry, banana, and butter. Not the... I can't say the butter would be good, but you know, it, it's a placement until I find peanut butter. Alright, what does this give us? Yep, you're gonna put whipped cream. Very possible, yep. But you put ham on it last time. So catching power bug, item power normal, and egg power one. So nothing super amazing. Okay. Pack up. All done with the picnic. I've also gotta remember, Crossbones is fully evolved, so he's not gonna be used. Hang on, I gotta rearrange my party, I forgot some things, so crossbones and flamingo. I didn't tell you what kind of, true enough, true enough. Wilbur and Charlotte. Okay, um, I'm trying to think, who do I want? I've actually kind of decided I kind of want to go for a shiny Finian, or whatever this is, Finian? Yeah, you're Finian, right? Finizen. I want to go for a shiny Finizen, so Dolpho will sit for now until I can find out how to, you know, pull that off. So in the time being, I think... Who do I want in my party for now? We'll bring Kazura. And we need something tanky. I don't know if Cloth evolves. I should probably check that. I'll bring sodium as well. I have no Herba Mystica. <laughs> Alright, um... I kind of am debating if I want to use some of these experience candies to get those other two up to snuff. I don't want to really join raids unless I know I'm going to be actually helpful. So, thank you for the invite, but I will have to decline. Okay, probably only a couple more. We want to get you up to, like, 20. One more experience candy small. Nope, oh, once to learn Endure. Ah, nah, I, I'm fine without Endure. There we go, Kazura is level 20. And let's put Nackley probably gonna need like 10. Oh, that was a little bit much. Whoopsie. Rock polish. Um. Do you wanna learn it? Okay, we won't learn rock polish. Headbutt. Do you wanna learn headbutt Nackley? Wants to forget Harden? Sure. Or Sodium, rather. Wants to learn Iron Defense. Okay. Do you want to learn Iron Defense, Sodium? Wants to forget Mud Shot? That's kind of coverage for you, though, little guy. I think we forget Rock Throw. Bringing someone with Sturdy or helping it or Thunder Wave will be helpful. Possibly. Alright, so next, I want to kind of do some of these terror raids before I proceed with the story, Stanley. I also have to be on the lookout for shinies because I don't know what they look like. Um, the Enmatai. I do have some terror raids this away, so let's go and check them, check them out. Oh, what did I run to? 
Scatterbug. Alright, I have to see if Cloth evolves here too. Ah, uh, no, it is minus for the Pokédex. I also get a Water Stone. Cool. Next is Net Balls. Alright, so Cloth. Where, oh, where is Cloth? Because if Cloth does not evolve, then Cloth will not be. probably not be in the party for long. I might try him out, but. Let's see here. Um... Oh, Cloth. There you are, Cloth. So, number 250. Okay, yep. Cloth does not evolve. Okay. Sad to see, Cloth. That is very sad to see. Oh, and you just said it as well, Larvae. Thank you. Uh, Flying Venonat. Let's change... Actually, no. Logi should be fine. Logi should be fine for a flying type. Very slow loading this raid is. Let's see, how fast do I clear this? It's gonna be a slow clear. Logi really isn't... Sadly, Logi isn't that strong. Very, very sadly. And I'm still the weak link! How am I still weaker than everyone else? I'm not going to catch the Venonat, though. It's not a Paldean Pokémon with a different Terra type than normal, so... Will not be captured. Uh, nothing much. People are getting banned from hacked raids. Rip. Why would you even partake in a, ha in a hacked raid? How do you... Okay, I can't even see how... Oh, I will. I'm working on dex completion, but I already have Venonat, I believe. I think, at least, I already have Venonat. I'm not 1,000% sure. around the Fletchlings. What is this raid? Pichu. Um, do I have Pichu? Hang on. Do I have Pichu? Do I have Pichu or do I just have Pikachu? I really wish you could search this. It would make life so much easier. Alright, I already have Pichu. Um, and what's the Terra type on the Pichu here? Ah, uh, that's... Is that Psychic? I feel like that's a Psychic symbol. So honestly, Logi would probably be for the best here. Nope, come on. Because, I mean, the eye makes me think Psychic. <laughs> I could have actually just checked the, um, mini-map. Talk about not using common sense. What are we dealing with? I don't recognize that. What? What terror? I don't know. What? Oh, is that? It's dark. Okay. Interesting.
So I definitely know I already have Pichu. I don't need to catch it. Mainly doing these for the feathers and the other swag that I can get, I think. Unless I find a unique terror type of the Paldean Pokemon, since those are the ones I'm using. Paldean only run. Or Pokemon that evolve exclusively to Paldea. Alright, um, show me the minimap again. Let's see, I'll have access to Grass, Ghost, Ice. Okay, I still have a lot that I can reach. We could go for this grass one here, then fly over here, and make our way up and around. Actually, before I go fully that way, I need to see if there is a combi I can capture. No! Oh, come on! Very hack mounds that don't catch mounds in raids that you think are dodgy. I've yet to see any hack raids, and you've done quite a few. Good to know. I mean, I'm not even online right now. Don't ask me why I'm not online. I, I think I'm just a little lazy to have logged online just yet. I'm also going to really quickly pop over here. Because there was a gimme ghoul right there last time as well. Okay. Um, let's check this terror raid out. I really hope some of the shinies are obvious. Oh, that's a lechonk. A grass lechonk. Hmm. See, Wilbur's already leveled up, and I don't want to I don't want to separate Wilbur and Charlotte. We'll go ahead and use Surtur for this, but I don't think I will capture this grass lechonk. I think Lei Chong's evolution is fine. I don't have any issues with it. Oh! You know what? Larvitar? Larvi? I have a question for you. Since you are further in the game, I have some. I just haven't used any. Am I correct in my guess that the um, Terra Shards you can occasionally get can change the Terra type of your Pokemon? Am I correct in that assumption? Holy guacamole, that's a lot. And it has to be a specific location. Okay. Good to know. That is very good information to have, actually. Okay, so I should be doing all these terror raids as much as possible to get more ch to get more shards. Because I only I have only like a handful of them right now, I think. Uh, I don't know where they're under, though. Ah, there we go, yeah. I got more rock than anything. I've got some mints, though, but nothing super fantastic. Lots of TMs. I should probably start using some of these TMs on people, but, you know, it's, it's a work in progress. It'll go when I figure out what my team will be. I think that um, Finizen will definitely end up on my final squad. I hope it gets a second type when it evolves, but even if it doesn't, I'll be perfectly fine with that. I just need to find a shiny one, which will be fun, I think. Because I have no idea how to get the shiny power stuff that I've heard people talk about. Much less, you know, see the various shinies. The lack of the um, notice is really annoying, honestly. I liked it a lot in Legends Arceus, how it would tell you. Oh yeah, there's a shiny that just spawned. But now it doesn't tell you, Is just, I don't know. I don't really care for that, honestly. 
I don't really care that they aren't telling you that there's shinies abound. No access accessibility. I mean, that is actually a very fair point, Larvi. I mean, like, what are they going to do if people are colorblind and stuff, you know? How, how are colorblind people going to be able to tell that there's a wild shiny out and about if they can't see it? Alright, so that's all the terror raids that were down in this vicinity. So let's fly over to South Province Area 5. Game is fun, but has design flaws. Yeah, I mean, another f design flaw that I've heard people talk about was the lack of proper level scaling or something. Six trainers. I need to defeat one more to get a prize. So we have to keep our eyes out for another trainer. I really need to get Surf eventually. Like, look at that. I don't... Any one of these finizens could be shiny. Get off... Get off her... Get off my Um, it is... Oh, come on. There we go. Yep. I know the Let's Go feature will, um, tell you if... Because it, like, refuses to KO a shiny or something. I have been told that is a thing, so... Okay, yep, there's only a certain distance limit. Uh, there was an Aerocuda around! Okay. <laughs> totally saw the Aerocuda. Yeah, I know, I know, I have to work on the Twitch Points thing. I'm lazy, though. I keep forgetting to do it. I need... I honestly need suggestions, like, what you guys would think is a fun use to spend Twitch Points on. Like, beyond something that would be bad or that I couldn't reasonably do. It had to be a reasonable. Hi, Gyarados. Any more Finians around here? Pretty sure I got Pinch Urchin. Or Finizens. Keep messing it up. Okay. Oh, there is one Finion. Okay. Finizen. Finion, Finizen. Oh. Faran is getting some level up points power. I'm pretty sure it is base Fran that you're talking about, because I'm pretty sure Summer Fran is already maxed out. I'll have to find her. Deerling. Okay, so there's Terror Raids, and I need to find one more trainer around here for... to get the reward. One more unbattled trainer. Have I battled you? Yes, I have. Lit Leo. What gender Lit Leo do I have? Because I know I have a Lit Leo, but I don't know what kind of Lit Leo. But do I really need to? You know what? No. It's Rock Ruffs that I need more of. I need, like, two more Rock Ruffs so I can get the um, other two forms. No, Velvet, we all know that you are a weird deer. The most noble of all the deer Pokemon. The weird deer. Unless I guess you count the Swords of Justice as deer Pokemon? I don't really know. Would those. Do the Swords of Justice count as deer Pokemon? Do I have a Stantler, actually? Wrong thing. Swords of Justice are, in fact, deers. Well, there you go. Okay, I do have a Stantler, so I don't need to capture another. Okay, let's go down, down into the bog. Do this terror raid. 
I don't think there was any trainers down. Oh, no, wait, that's not a Terry. That's a terrestrialized flamingo. Or flamino. Or however it's pronounced. Which I honestly, that is just hilarious naming. Okay, what was the way out? Uh, it was this way? Yeah, it looks to be. An all deer run. Do it, Velvet. I believe in you. Let's see, you would have Sauce Buck, um, Stantler slash Weirdeer. Oh, careful of the Hoppips. The Swords of Justice. And that would be your full team. Unless there's more Deer Pokemon that I miss. Xerneas. Xerneas is also a Deer. Okay, so... I need to keep going around. There's the Ghost Terror Raid. I've already taken you on. My Chonks Evo. Just zip over here right quick to see for anything. The Life Alert Deer. You're not wrong. You are certainly not wrong about that. Oh, what I ran into. Rookity! So small. Small bird is small. Well. Alright, so Fran Bride is now out of two. Wow, I didn't actually KO the Rookity in one shot. That's honestly a little surprising. There we go. Now, for the raid. It's a shadowy... It's a ghostly raid, so it's a shadow raid. But is it a legend, is the question. It's a ghost? Ooh. That's... So, I know that Dunsparce... I was told that Duns... I was shown, actually, that Dunsparce does evolve... Ghost. Ooh. I think I'm gonna go for it. I think I might catch this one. Um, but who to use? I don't really have too good of an answer for Ghost. I guess Doughy. You know, yeah, we'll go Doughy. Water sport doesn't count for you if you have water, Sunkern. Well, poor Sunkern. Alright, a ghost terra type Dunsparce. That'll be interesting. Um, let's go for Bite. I'm pretty sure F that um, Fido is a more physical attacker than special. Didn't do that much. But it's fine. I think I'm still doing the most damage out of everybody in this terror raid, which is a relief, honestly. The question is just going to be, can I catch it? Because I'm running very low on premium ball space. I think I'll go Ultra. Just to guarantee. I have no idea if the Terror Raid Pokemon are a guaranteed capture or not, but better safe than sorry. Hey! They are? Okay. Good to know. So we captured the Ghost Terra Type Dunsparce. What?
And you will now be Kotal. Kotal. And let's see your summary here real quick. Normal ghost, serene grace, neutral nature. I'm not sure. Is serene grace a good one for Dunsparce? A good ability. I'll have to check. Uh, but send to the box for now. Give me your gimme cool coins. No can do, Velvet. No can do. I need as many gimme cool coins as I can gimme get. Plus I've only got like 180 or something. Martial artist. He doesn't have yellow text, so I fought him. Where am I missing somebody? There has to be like a trainer that I've just plain up, straight up missed. Mankey. Meryl. I've already got a Zerl. Psyduck, Zangoose. Gumi, I've already got. Dreepy, I've already got. This is. Oh! Dang, Rickety! You'll live this time, Rickety. You get to live. This is probably another one of those big dogs. Yep, indeed it is. Another level 40 doggo that will just completely destroy me. Okay. Luxio. No, no, no. Come on, there's gotta be a trainer around up here somewhere. Hmm. Maybe not. I just spam clicked there and I got two items. I don't know if there was actually two there. I hope there was and that I didn't glitch something. Because that would be kind of bad, I feel. Okay, I don't think I've actually been in this vicinity yet. Energy powder. Hey, there's a trainer! Okay, um, Logi, you've been getting a lot of playtime lately. Let's see what sodium is made of. Oh, they can get more than one? Whew, that's a bit of a relief. Vega the student. I could see it. I could definitely see it. Smackdown. I'm in trouble, though. This thing's flying, fighting. See, I could be in trouble here. Um... Let's go for the speed stat drop. I'll lose stab. Ow! It outspeeds me. All right, let's see. Um, Doey. Poor Doey. How dare you kick him? Play rough. Ow! This flamingo. Very rude this flamingo was. Logi, Kazura, and Doey level up. Well, I can tell you definitely like Pokemon. Indeed. Okay. And we have the ice 
Terror Raid just around the bend. Oh, hello. Got some higher level Pokemon around here, too. Uh, so Ice Cricky Tots. We'll bring Surter in. Sadly, I don't think ice really helps out with Cricky Tot's weaknesses. So it's kind of a wash as far as the Terror Raid goes. I do wonder when I'm going to get higher than um, Tier 1 Terror Wraiths. I do so wonder. Don't catch. Bye, Crookie Tot. Uh, nothing much. Okay. So I can later on fall back to that one guy to get the reward for beating seven or eight trainers in this zone. But was there anything else around here worth getting? Did I get a slow poke? Can I... I don't like going non-numerical, but this is probably the quickest way. Uh, do I have a slow poke? I do. And that leads to there, so I don't want to go down. Oh, careful. Great ball is great! I still haven't found a wild slack off. Or at least, I've seen it on my map, but I've never actually seen one. It must be elusive. Hiding. Waiting. For the right moment to strike. Hachirisu, I'm pretty sure I've got you. Oh, we got a TM. Imprison. Eh. And here's that stake I saw a much er long time ago. Remove the stake. How many stakes do I need to rip out of the ground to unseal whatever it is is sealed away? That is the true question. Um, lots of palmy. The groth. Another train. No, I didn't mean to run into you, palmy. Eight stakes. Oh, can't get away. You don't want to bite sodium. It's not very good for your teeth. I need to heal. Okay, I don't need to battle that trainer since I've already gotten all the mons, or all the trainers I need to fight in this zone, so... I think I'm pretty much done exploring this zone for the time being. There's areas I can't quite reach just yet. With my current only speedy speed. Yeah, I 
don't think there's anything further really around here for me. <laughs> Hiding there. Little rookity be hi be hidden. Yeah, because I can't climb to the top of that mountain because I actually need some form of climbing. So we head to the eastern area where I found cloth. I need to pay attention to where I'm riding. Sorry there, little Leo. Alrighty. Are these items, like, respawning? Like, do the non-TM items respawn or something? Okay, now we're at the Spiral Mountain that I know I can't go up. Oh, the TM Zoo too? That's interesting. I have to say, I don't really care for that choice that they made to make the TMs not infinite. But if they're making up for it by making TMs respawn, I guess that's okay. Only okay, though. Not fine. Let's see. What do I have around here? Uh, might jump down there in a bit. Let's see what's up along this ledge area first. This actually goes a fair ways. Plenty of rare candies. Camera's not being too nice. Um, that's weird. The camera's being very weird up here. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't do it. Okay. Anything else up around here? Honestly, I don't think you're supposed to be able to get to this area without, like, being able to drop down or climb or something. Because there's, like, no connecting points, it looks like. Ponyard! You, I also know, evolve. Okay, um... Logi in the lead, because I need her para. Ah, it's a female poniard. Dang, nabbit. Needs to be a male one, since J6 wanted to be a poniard. Since Ponyard apparently evolves beyond Bisharp. So, he asked to reserve Ponyard space, so he is reserved for Ponyard. Um, anything around? Fresh water all the way over here. Makes sense. Makes perfectly logical sense. Ultra Ball. Floatstone. Leo. 
Minky, Deerling, Leo, Random Weasel. Flachinder. Okay. So that's all that is down here for me to see. So, only way I can escape is to fly like an eagle. Okay. It says there's another poniard around here, though. As well as tentacool. Um... Tentacles around here? Where? It's like showing on my mini map. I didn't see one though. Unless I'm blind as a bat. Cause I mean I don't think there's literally anywhere else it could be. There's no underground area to component to this area. Been hanging out with level 54s? Yeah. Nimona seems a little over eager. Okay, now the mini map's showing it's gone, so. I really don't know how the mini map is supposed to work. Like, it showed that there was the Pokemon in the vicinity, but I didn't see it anywhere. Spiper. The poniard, though. There we go. Here's a male poniard. Now we just need to weaken it. Oh, can't use the same move twice in our due to torment. Uh, bite it. Oh, I guess I missed that part of the tutorial. Or I ignored it. Both of which are very reasonable things for me to do. Both of which are very reasonable things for me to do. Forget or ignore. Okay, I think it's been weakened enough. So let's go ahead and do a Pokeball. There we go. J6 has been captured. Sodium has leveled up. Ponyard, the sharp blade Pokemon. Any chips in its blades would prove fatal for it. After each battle, it diligently maintains its blades using its favorite sharpening stone. Alright. J. And. Six. Let's see your summary, J6. I don't remember. He said something about ability, too. But I don't remember. So if this one doesn't have the right ability, then I'll have to catch another one. But I do recall him. Oh! Sodium is evolving! Okay! Knackle Stack. Knackle Stack, the rock salt Pokemon. It compresses rock salt inside its body and shoots out hardened salt pellets with enough force to perforate an iron sheet. Dang. That's kind of dangerous. Salt Cure. Well, it sounds like it's your signature move. Cures the target, inflicting damage with every turn. Water and steel are more strongly affected by this move. Uh, what do you want to lose? Um. No, you know what? You're going to lose Smackdown, I think. Looks cool. Not going to lie. Looks kind of cool. Okay. I think that's enough messing around around here, so... 
we will fly down here first so I can claim my reward, and then fly up there so I can start clearing out the terror raids in South Province Area 3. So I can get the reward and then make my way to Artazan for a gym battle. So let's fly. To the seas. Alright, what are you gonna give me, man? Put one league up. Yep, defeated seven trainers. We'll have the league. Here's my prize. Eviolite. Okay. Eviolite doesn't sound too bad, honestly. I know there's definitely certain mons that it is useful for. I'm also really going to quickly going to look for a Finizen around here. We got a couple. Oh, I was I was hopeful. Uh quillfish. It's a bit too far out. Oh. Dang bird. Not fighting you, Watchroll. Uh, any other Finizens on the coast? With the most. Oh, a whole, s a whole group. A five. Oh, and there's even more further out there. One of you, please be shiny. Stop running, Finison. If you're shiny, I wish to capture you. It's too far out. Not too far out for that weasel, though. Um, do I already have a Kriballer? I do. Okay, um... No more Finizens around here. Alright, so we will put... We'll put Sodium in the front lines, give him some time to shine, and then... Access the map. For up here we shall go. Mesa goes at East Gate. Fly! Fly, you fool! Fly! Alright, there's not as much exploration to be found around here. Because I'm pretty thoroughly explored it. AKA, I got lost. So, yeah. But let's see what the fire terror raid over here is. Um, we'll also need to keep our eyes out for Char Cadet, as well as Fire Makuhita. I should be fine. I won't capture it, but... A chance for fire terror shards is something useful. And Nackley should be good. Being a rock type, after all. Why would you bring a grass type skidoo here? Also, why is there a grape ball on the ground? Salt cure. It's making it rain salt. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Is being salt cured? Yes. 
I have to say, the Terra Raid battles definitely seem to go faster when you're doing it with another person. That is definitely an observation I have made. No capture. Mm, some of it sweat. Gross. Just what everybody wants. Sweat. Oh, fair. That is fair. I kind of wonder what a shiny Knackley would look like. Alright, I think there was only one or two other... There's got to be, like, a quick... Is there a quick button for the map? Good luck on your third badge, but there's got to be, like, a quick button to access the map. I just don't remember what it is. Ooh, Char Cadet. Only level 14, so I definitely have to be careful. What are you? You're male! Good. Please don't kill. Or rather, KO. Okay, that's good. Gawain, get ready to join the squad. Oh, careful. Almost pressed a bad button. Yes, good luck on your third badge. I'll be going for my first year soon. No! Close. Excuse me. Oh, the Char Cadet's gonna be a bit of a pain, isn't it? I think that was a critical capture. Yep, it was. When it wiggles a bit in the air, I think is an indi is indicative. Alright, so we need to make sure we name Gawain proper. Yes. Welcome to the team. Gawain. There we go. So let's see your summary here. Fire Terror type, Flash Fire for the ability, Decrease Attack up in speed. I'm not really sure. You seem like a physical attacker. Okay. Um, send the box. And I do need to organize those boxes just a little bit here, right quick. Alright, so Gawain is in a good place. These two Char Cadets, meanwhile. Um. We'll go ahead and release them. There we go. And then the... Ah, the Poison Terra type for Dunsparce will be replaced by the Ghost Terra type for Dunsparce. So, run away for the ability and Serene Grace. I'll keep it, though, just because it is a bit more unique. I guess if I ever make a living dex, that's what it's going to be a part of. Okay. Back to box one. We'll go in up a little bit, and this should be fine for now. Alright. And now... Okay. So we have, looks like, a psychic, fairy, and normal terror raids left to do in the vicinity here. I feel like I've already gotten the reward from this rep. I have. Excellent. I do have a spoink. I almost turned around and captured the spoink, but no, I've already got a spoink. Uh, yeah, so I can... I'll leave this spoink be. 
I know I have Gulpin. I know I have. I know. If, I know for sure I have Palmy. Makita, no, no, no. Yeah, you're not really that mighty, dude. You would fall to me, I'm sure. I've been in areas you could only dream of visiting. Here we go. You forgot to do your homework? That's never a good thing. You should never forget your homework. Homework is very important. Uh, Toxel. Interesting. Um... I believe this is a fairy one. Let's bring Kazura in, actually. Give her some shots. Toxel would be an interesting one to capture, but I have not encountered a wild Toxel yet, so... Toxel shall not be captured by me. Psychic. Always somebody with Intimidate amongst them. Oh, sorry, Avia. Um, Assurance. I'm actually checking something. Rattled. Okay, that is not its hidden ability, so I'm not going to be trying to capture it for hidden ability purposes. Definitely not speeds me now. Thankfully, it's not that strong. I will admit that was a tougher battle. Only because it kept getting speed boosts. Farewell, Toxel. I'm sure we will meet again someday. Alright. So, then two more raids, and before we head to the first proper city that has a gym. So, we want... Probably that raid. I can actually fly fairly close to it. I could also go, like, in the grass area over here. There's a lot to explore when I get done with Azerton. I think what I will do is I'm gonna... Oh, no, I can't because that's a lip up there. Okay. had a flippin' hair in my eye. That's probably the Terra Dunsparce that I encountered before. It is indeed. So no worries about it. Akuna Matata and all that. No, I don't want to go down further. I want to go up. Terror Raid is up here. I think I gotta jump, it looks like. What did I run into? Shinks. Why do I have Lodgy in the lead again? I need to put salt in, or sodium in the lead. Lodgy, you've been in the lead far too much. 
other Pokemon need their turns. Cloth again. Sodium. Anakly, rather. Come on. Okay, I'm not going on that much of an angle here. Okay. Looks like there is other ways to get up there, but you know what? If you don't try the hard way, then are you even really trying? Probably, but you know. I'm stubborn. Here looks like it's got a bit better of an angle. Nope. I fail. Not enough hang time there. If I could double jump, maybe, but... Alright, so I think it's just a quick loop. Yeah. Go, goat. So I'm pretty sure this is normal. Ooh, a tier 2 raid. Um... We should be fine, though. If it's normal or steel. If it's steel, then um, the salt's attack will do more effective damage anyway, so... Ooh, I had a good neck pop. It's normal. Normal Terra Eddie Teddy Ursa. So this is literally nothing special. Um Mud shot. That's not a lot of damage. I guess stab is probably for the best. I like how it's using a dark type move. <laughs> There's some damage numbers. Man, Sodium is a tank. Sodium is a physical beast. And again, the set of ears is literally nothing special. Uh, muscle feathers, bunch of feathers and stuff. I should probably start using some of these feathers that I've got on members that I know will be on my team. So I need to see if I've got any special attack feathers. Because I'm pretty sure Surtur is a special attacker. Health muscle genius. Use them all. I picked up a naive mint somewhere along the way. Still lots of speed boosters. I need a physical or I need attack boosters. Alright, so easily identifiable other terror raid. Poor rookity, I literally just jumped on it. Sorry there, little rookity. I did not mean to hop on top of you. Alright, so I think I've got to go around and up to reach. What was that, Pokemon? Was that... Oh, that's a... Uh little bug that I've got, the grasshopper thing. Oh, hmm. Does this continue looping upwards? No. Thankfully, I can jump. Jumping is well within my capabilities. Slow, sodium slow, that's not terribly surprising.
get this real quick, and then we'll see what this fairy terror raid is. A fairy venonat. Um. I think we bring in Doughy just so that I can do neutral stuff against it. But another venonat, man. The venonats are prosperous little things, aren't they? Guess I'm not the only one that thought to bring a fairy in. Okay, um... Go for the stab. Oh! That was a smack! Doughy be tough. We'll leave it be. Uh, more Genius Feathers is nice. But overall, nothing much was gained. Okay. So that is literally all the Terror Raids that are available to me without going out of my way. So I think it's time I finally head into Azartan over here. Just making sure there was no League representative around. There isn't. Good. I was somewhat worried about that. Alright, let's hop off. We'll heal. Bum, bum, ba dum, bum. Thank you. Um, we'll check the Pokemart after we've beaten this gym leader. Welcome! Hello, Skidoo. You're totally who I wanted to talk to. Welcome to his art in the town where flowers are as bright and colorful as the artwork. So quite probably the grass gym leader is going to reside here. I'm sure I could check if I just opened up my map. But, um, I'm a little lazy like that. I like how it's not like a separate cell, either. That it's its own thing. Okay, so there is stuff inside of this maze. So this is it. Can we see the famous piece? Can't see I really get it, but I like it. Fling. Eh. So yeah, grass is going to be relatively easy for me to deal with. I'm not going to go too far outside of Azartan's bounds, though. Quick Claw. Okay, that's nice. Something charming about the windmills here, isn't there? Eh. This is where he said to meet up, right? My girlfriend said we'd meet at the weird sculpture, but that hardly narrows it down. Fair point. I see the item over there. I could probably jump over these hedges if I really put the effort into it, but... Meh. Too bad, kid. You're not as cool as I am. Poison Tail. Okay, that's actually interesting. The Harvest of Work by Brassius. I guess this is the center of the maze. 
You actually found your way here. Nice. Almost no one makes it this far. I decided to make it my secret base. Oh, yeah. You can totally get on top of this if you really put the effort in. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can't find any interesting shops about here. Here we go. We got some stuff down here. Whee. Alright, so... I imagine these very well might be different compared to base. Um, nothing interesting. Chocolate banana, though. Check the drinks shop. No, it doesn't look like there's actually anything different. Okay, so we need to see if there's different ingredients for sale then. Baratos. Nope, nothing there. That leads to the exit of the town, which I don't want to go to just yet. Excuse me. The Gopher Broke Grill again. I think the Fruit Punch is new. Can't be sure. As was the Potato Tortilla, I think. Tasty fillings and accessories! Here we go! Okay. Let's see, let us see. So, I'm not going to buy ham. Why do I have nine ham? I think I got that as a gift or something. So we'll go 15 lettuce. 15 onions. 15 mayo. 15 ketchup. Ooh, we definitely need some salt, which we gathered from the footprints of na knackle stacks. That's, I like that. That's cool. Um, definitely want some pepper as well. Butter. Cream cheese. Okay, I'll take some cream cheese. That sounds interesting. I'm running low on cash, so I'm going to definitely have to be selling stuff here soon. Some jam. Picks. I don't... I wonder if the picks actually have any influence. I kind of doubt it, though. So I'm not going to buy any more picks. So we got some jam and cream cheese here. Okay. And this is the sandwich shop in general. See if this new sandwiches guy has anything for us. No. Ooh, Lilligan. I wonder if the Hisuian Lilligan is available. And there's another great ball on the ground there. That's weird. Okay. I think I've explored. I don't... I didn't really explore the... this up here, I guess. Oh, this must be the battlefield. Okay, cool, cool. I didn't explore these buildings over here. Um, what do we got here? Another fillings and accessories shop. So, nothing new. So, I can get some fillings and accessories over in this town. Can't go in there. Just drinks. Ah, here's another shop that I haven't been to yet. Another oh, two shops, it looks like, actually. So you're the produce. You don't have anything new. Okay. And you... Sure can. Ah, you're more bananas, strawberries, and stuff. I do need another banana and strawberry, at least. Okay. I think that is everything. So, Grass Gym Leader. I think it's only fair that we let Surter take the lead. He is our starter, so he should be the one to take out our first gym. Looks like a bunch of uh, fast food stands over there, but no need to visit those.
Gracias is unbelievable, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm gonna be even more unbelievable when I destroy him. <laughs> Why are you here? You said you were going west, Nimona. Can we see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? No. Yeah, sure you're not. Just came to the gym for some sightseeing, right? <laughs> you fibber. Before you can battle the gym leader, you've got to pass certain challenges set by them. They're gym tests. Every gym test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. When you use them, consider me consider it me healing up your Pokemon. I'm so glad you're having to be a champion, too. This is the best news ever. And I'm so excited I can barely stand still. Guess I'll just go battle every trainer I run into. She said she was going west. That's why I went east. My poor Quaxley. I got this gym with my Quaxley. I got destroyed, but I'll win with Gravel with, right? Possibly. Notice there's lots of students passing through these days since the treasure hunt started. There's an elevator here. Can't interact with it, though. Welcome to the Azartan... Artazan Trim. Let me just you as a challenger. Your name is Sol, yes? Indeed. Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Brassius, you first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Azart Artazan Gym, that means completing in a game completing a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. May as you may know, Artazan is a city of artists. Artazan, I wondered. The artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since Sunflora embodies these concepts, we try to gather them and make, take good care of them. Your job today is to find the Sunflora located throughout Artazan. Remember, these Pokemon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather up ten of them, bring them to the Sunflora lawn, and you pass the test. I'll register the Sunflora's lawn location in your map app to get you started. When you leave the gem, turn right, and you'll see two large Sunflora statues. Head for those. When you're at the lawn's entrance, the staff there will tell you more about the gem test. Now get out there and have fun. Hide and seek, huh? Okay. Interesting gym challenge, I guess. The question is, do I have to fight the Sunflora? Hello. Hi there, I look after the Artazan Gym Sunflora. I hope you're ready, Challenger. It's time for a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. I'll go ahead and ask the Sunflora to spread themselves out around town. Flora. Sounds like the Sunflora are ready for you. With that, your gym test has now begun. Once you've found ten Sunflora, please bring them back to the Sunflora lawn. That's all for me for now. Good luck out there. Gym test. So you got the Sunflora in Artazan. Okay. <laughs> Sounds doable. They won't be in pots. Oh, no. Item. Oh, okay. No, so there is a limit. It won't let me go too far. Good to know. Good to know. There's so much loot that I can't reach. Is that one? It is. Okay, I think I... Found a Sunflora, will not follow you around. Okay, I think I can't really be riding around because I go way too zoomy zoom when I'm riding. There's another. Well, follow me now. Cool. Definitely figured one would be hiding. It flew! They can fly like little birds, flapping their petals like wings. Oh, there's one. Oh, does it want to fight? Okay. Oh. Oh no. I might be a bit over-leveled. I might be a tad over-leveled here. Oh, 
Ooh, I got a sunstone. Nice. Wasn't the first sunstone I've gotten, clearly, but still. Mm, the rain will be detrimental to the gym battle. That's six. Up here feels like there might be one. If the other ledge had one, this ledge would make sense as well, but it doesn't. Let's see, the maze, I could see there being one in there. Can they keep up? I don't think they can keep up. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, there is one. That's seven. We'll check the full depths of the maze here. Getting caught on stuff. Eight. Nine. Check around here. Yep, I saw it. Hello. And ten in time. Ten in total. Woo. Alrighty. Now I just need to get out of this maze. Well, you can't ride my Maridum because he's mine. Mine, I tell you. Mine! So do I actually have all ten? I do. They're a little framey, I'll admit, but, you know, not much that can be done. The gym test is done. Huzzah, 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 huzzah. While done finding all these on floor, you pass the gym test with flying colors. Now please head back to the lobby of the Azar Artazan gym to report your results. Sure. <laughs> In we go. Seems you successfully gathered ten sunflora and brought them over to the sunflora lawn. That means you've cleared the gym test. Congratulations! You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck! Are you ready to challenge gym leader Brassius, the verdant virtuoso? Sure. I kind of feel like I'm going to destroy him. Very well. Help me to shoot at the battle court. There we go. Ah, his fans had to come first. Greetings, Challenger. That's dangerous. <laughs> Three point landing, nice. You did well to come this far. I am Brassius, an artist specialing in grass type Pokemon. I'm also the gym leader here at the Artazan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. It was moving. How are you on top of the a moving windmill and watching me? The perception you displayed in finding Sunflower was truly... Oh, how shall I describe it? it yes, it was truly avant-garde. I only pray you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk, we must begin creating our collaborative work of art. Okay. I trust that you are ready. It's time for our master's piece to take shape. Does he have a whip? Patillo. What level are we dealing with here? 
Artist creation and destruction. Struggle else your defeat will nourish my Pokemon. Oh no. Oh jeez, I am way over level. I am way beyond over leveled here. Sorry, Patillo. And sorry, Brassius' whole team. I'm about to incinerate you. Small if no. No switching needed. I mean, I guess scaling. Like. Depending on how you would plan to implement level scaling, if it went based on the badges you have, it wouldn't really matter in this instance. Pseudo Wudo. Okay. This is promised, yes, let us lead this artistic endeavor to its conclusion at once. Um, I feel like it's going to terrestrialize grass. Allow me to introduce. To touch this work up, I call it Truly Wudo. Pseudo Wudo looks good with the grass terror type. Ah, oh, it's the battle theme from Sword and Shield. Oh, it has sturdy, clever, clever. At times, like at times, art becomes a race against the clock. Let us increase the pace. Trailblaze, huh? Ow! That hurt so badly. Oh no. Kazura wants to learn a new move. Okay, what do you want to learn? Bug bites. Uh, yeah, you do need a bug type move, so makes sense. Probably drop Screech. We'll go with Screech. You don't need that. One, two, and ta-da! For how, got how to screech and learned how to bite like a bug. Brassius hath been defeated. Avant God! He has some bad dandruff or something. Oh, it's daytime now and still raining. Oh, what artistic talents you employ? The patterns of your moves, the minute details of your Pokemon's performance, everything you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was, in a word, art. Indeed, if we did not, we could not call that work artistry, then nothing else in this world could be labeled as such. If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, pass without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? Sure. Okay, I like that. That's a good photo. The Artazan gem has been defeated. If you possess one gem badge, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon of up to level 25, and those Pokemon should follow your commands as well. Okay. To be a fantastic trainer as yourself, I would also like to offer you this, a favorite of mine. Trailblaze. A grass attack that boosts speed. So, Flame Charge. Uh, my inspiration is overflowing as if drawn from a bottomless well. I'll begin a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell! Farewell! Loading. Loading. Ra -ta -ta -ta. Who is it? Hey, hey, soul. Just to say, my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool news. Better be ready. How to go at the gym, by the way? I passed. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it was obvious you were gonna pass, but congrats. I'm so glad I encouraged you to take the gym's nice job past me. I'm training hard too. By the way. Night and day, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got the map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next, especially in a huge place like Paldea. 
After all the past getting strong, you usually have some strange stops and detours. Speaking of strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. I hope you know I'm going to win a battle if we run into each other. I've already taken down Arvin's um, task in this vicinity. Okay, so that is our first gem out of the way. Sweet. So I need to check the Pokemon to see... Okay, so there is some new TMs. That can be made. So let's go to the park Pokemart here. There's no league rep over here either, so... First, tell me you're selling great balls. Well, first, actually. First, first. I've got some stuff I need to offload. Yeah, you can take this nugget. You can take all the tiny mushrooms. You can take all the stardust. You can take all the pearls. My big pearls. The purdy feathers. And the rare bones. You know, it just occurred to me, I don't know what the um, fossils are in this gen. Yes, great balls! Huzzah! Give me 15 of those suckers. And a premier ball. Um, anything else? Not really. No, I'm good. Thank you, Mr. Pokemart person. Let's check the TMs. Let's see. Anything interesting can be crafted. Thunderfang. Low kick, struggle bug, confuse ray, poison tail, disarming voice. Metal Claw, Swift, Stored Power, Air Cutter, Door, Bulk Up, Reflect, Metronome, Rest. So nothing in particular right now. Okay, so according to the map here, I can now access this whole vicinity. I looks like I could go and take on um, the star the team star person around here as well, but I'm not going to just yet. I kind of want to examine the area around here. So let's go down, it looks like. There's the parrot, which will be Andy, as well as some mice. Tentacool looks to be around here. Then we can zip and check this area, and then we can go down and examine all this stuff. But I need to plan things out. So then we'll probably do the fire thing here. Explore, explore, explore. We got an unknown horde over there. But then the next thing is the electric gym. And then the steel titan. Okay. So our plan of attack is fairly easy. Up here is where it's going to get a little bit more difficult because of how spread the out thing everything is. So I wish to go this way, I think. East Province Area 1. Is there anything actually up here? There is! Okay, we got the parrots with mohawks. Squawkbilly. Okay. Uh, I forgot to switch my lead mon. Lodgy's coming out front. For this para abilities. Aerial Ace. Ooh. That actually hit pretty decently. Parad. Taunt. Taught me all you like, I'm not going to be falling for it, because you're going in the ball now. We'll try a basic Pokeball for now. There's another one behind me. Lodgy and Doey leveled up. I wonder when Lodgy's going to evolve. Doey wants to learn Baton Pass. I'm 
thinking we don't need baton pass. <clears throat> Squawkabilly, the parrot Pokemon. Yellow plumage. The yellow Squawkabilly are especially fierce. They've been known to drive other bird Pokemon out of town. Okay. Well, Andy, you are a fierce parrot. We'll check your summary right quick. Hustle. Uh, boost attack, but lowers accuracy. Okay. Cool. To the box for now, though, Andy. I'll just see if you evolve. Oh, we... Speaking of evolve, Doughy is evolving! Look at that good boy. Dash Bun. Oh, look at it. It's such a good boy. Dash Bun, the dog Pokemon. The surface of this Pokemon skin hardens when exposed to intense heat, and its body has an appetizing aroma. Look at the good boy. Oh, I thought somebody else was about to evolve. Okay, so Dash Bun. You are a pure fairy type here. With the well-baked body ability. Okay. However, I'm going to have to box you for now, Dash Bun. I'm not sure if you're going to make it on my final squad or not. And you have evolved, so... Sadly, I'm going to have to put the doggo away for now. Sadness. Alright, Doey. Don't worry, you will come back out eventually. Um... Let's bring Flittle in for now. Flittle's close enough, I'm not going to burn candies. And then I want to check real quick. Does Squawkably evolve? I really wish there was a quick way to search. Mons. It would definitely make life easier. Don't know why that was lit up, like I knew what it was. I don't even have a rock rough? Wow. I'm slacking. Uh no, Squawkably does not evolve. Shame. It's a right shame. Um Or Cario. I don't need to catch more just yet. If I eventually go for a complete living dex, I will of course catch one, but at the current time, I'm fine not doing so. Wow, you can get all the Squawkablies around here. I saw yellow, I saw blue just then. I think I saw green earlier. Leo, whoop. Oh. Cassiopeia here. See, you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I think this means you've decided to join my operation. Sure. Not right now, but soon. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? Who are you? The name's Clive. Um, how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right, Sol? I guess we are. He did... He overheard me talking in the cafeteria. <laughs> Shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. Well, I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Well, well begun to the operation, Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history, that's all I'll say. I see, in that case, I won't press you further. Good, now back to business, let's take Operation Starfall. Yes, what would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to dodge the boss of their rule somehow? That's right, Team Star is made up of five squads, each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. How did I teleport? I was up on a cliff. Ah, yes, I can see them over there. On the other side of the, is the base proper, and somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. 
Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Soul. They're basically declarations of war. You now, all Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their rules. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the base themselves are a considerable size. Your Garden Variety Trainer will be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Soul. To beat the Pokemon inside the base and drag a boss out from where they're hiding. First things first, though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said, I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from far. Alright, what my will what will I what will my role be? Sorry, but I can't just completely trust you yet. For now I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as sole support. You're a cautious one, alright, I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Well, go get him, Skull. Director Clavel. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks about you about me, remember this. My name's Clive, an ordinary academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Right. Sure, Clive. Clive. Cleave. Clove. Clive. Clive. More deerling. Okay, I did not want to go down here. Game. I don't appreciate being teleported against my will. Well, those deerling. Rain dance. Ooh, was that a Cyclozar? It was. Okay. Logi will have to be taking the lead here again, just because... I do need to be capturing some of these mons. Cyclozar, huh? Ooh, not very effective. Did get the para, though. Cyclists are a ground type. Or are dragons just resistant to electric? I honestly don't remember. Oh no. Please just be two hits. Oh, that could have been bad. Um, what do I want to name you, though? What do I want to name Cyclazar? Hmm. Moto? Yeah, we'll go with Moto. Like after Moto Cross. He's a normal dragon, can spread to over 70 miles per hour while carrying a human. The rider's body heat warms Cyclozar's back and lifts the Pokemon spirits. That's nice. Alright, Moto, welcome to the squad. Moto. Hello, Moto. Let's see your summary real quick. You have the normal Terra type. Ugh. Boosted attack, though. Shed skin. Adamant nature. Okay. To the box for now, Moto. Excuse me. Alright. So I... Mm, I'm approaching the split point where I have to split this stream into multiples since... I am going to be going for long, but I also do need to be mindful of length of videos for my video compression. Okay, what is with these tall- what is it the Rickadies? Like, good gracious, they're everywhere! Also, I vastly outlevel everything here, it seems. Well, maybe not vastly, but I just outlevel them straight up. Super Potion... There's the League rep for this zone. Hello? How many do I need to beat? Five. That's not bad. Okay, let's make our way back up. Because I had a starting point that I was going to start from, and I will start from that starting point. Tauros. No, I can't be getting distracted. I need to start from where I said I would start. No sooner. Okay. Okay. I'm up here. Back to where I said I was going to start. I did a pretty 
thorough-ish exploration of up here, I think. I did get teleported, though, so I kind of want to... Light screen, okay. So I want to finish my exploration of up here. Blue squawkably. Blue... What did I aggro over here? Freaking Rookity! Rookity's an aggressive little fella. Yeah, I didn't get fully over here just because I did get ported. Green. Young Goose. It's Leo. Rookity. The Chonk. Rookity. Okay, that was all that there was around here. More green squawkabillies. Okay, yes. So that is all that was up here. So now... I carefully zoom over to this other area. I should probably heal Lodgy up a bit. Alright, so we have over here now. And this whole, this is actually like a, ra a raised up area, I want to say. Yeah, this whole area is a bit raised up. Looks like we have Pineco, some mouse, as well as Venonats around. More of them, or Corios. If anything, I'm betting Pineco are going to be like in trees or something. Grassy terrain, okay. Experience candy, palmies. I don't want to go for you because I think I already have a bounce sweet, which is the evolution requirement. And we got a trainer up here who says I have a bill, but I don't. I don't have any bill. I don't owe you anything, man. Oh, hey, there's some Tauros. Okay. Are they aggressive? They are aggressive. Okay. Hello. You're just Tauros. Okay. A little bit higher level than everything else here, if nothing else, but... So you're Tauros. Anger point. Ow. Okay. That hits hard. That hits fairly hard. Um, alright. Cupcake, come in. Anticipation. It does have something super effective against me. So quite probable dark type move. Let's... Gosh. Um... What's the disarming voice? Do we outspeed? We do. Is it super effective? It is! So it's not normal typing. It's something weak to fairy. Go for another disarming voice. Okay, I think it's within range for capture. We'll go a great ball here, because I feel like that is the proper move here. No, okay, that's not good. Holy cow, what is your physical stat? Then again, it did get anger pointed, which I think boosts its physical, so... Yeah, this could be bad. <laughs> Go again, Great Ball. I believe. Mm. Oh, I think Para. good, not good, very much not good. Mm 
Good lord, this Tauros does not want to be captured. And I almost knocked my controller down. Come on. Get in the Great Ball. There we go. Good gracious. Tauros was captured. Wiglet leveled up to 24. Let's learn Headbutt. Sure, long boy. You can learn Headbutt. You're not going to be on the party for too much longer, unfortunately, though. As soon as you evolve, Wiglet. As soon as you evolve. Alright, so... Tauros, the wild bull Pokemon. Paldean form. This kind of Tauros, known as the combat breed, is distinguished by its thick, powerful muscles and fierce disposition. Okay, um... I think there's only one proper word, because it kind of was one. Welcome to the team, bully. Max is the attack. Okay, and it had an, a positive attack nature. Yeah, that's a... That's a fairly potent one. It... I... I thought it had an evolution. I could have swore... I heard that Tauros evolved. That's weird. Um, I'm gonna split the recording here real quick.